Well, when I'm not on tour, yeah. <laughs> Sit down if you don't care. Uh, because I would love to sit I down with you. I cleaned out a garage for the last uh. two days and my bones hurt. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> like I have my hips and stuff when I walk, and my hips are giving out. I've got arthritis and damn, it hurts, Sam. It hurts getting old. <laughs> damn, Sam, I'm getting creaky. Uh, this is Wednesday. We're gonna play this back tomorrow. You are messed up. This is Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I got messed up last night, Gretchen. Okay. But we were done by 8.30. Yeah, and yeah so that's, that's what's so funny. We've been up since <laughs> hey, 4 a.m. Hey, well, we were up from 3 a.m., though, so that kind yeah, of yeah, no, I've, I've done that, where you go, oh, my gosh, yeah. I'm way too drunk for this hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. In <laughs> three, bad. two, one. CMA Awards Week 2013. It is the big day, CMA Day, and lots of stars running around. Gretchen Wilson has sat down Yay. in our little booth. Good morning, Gretchen. Good morning. Good to see. You. She saw the props and she got a little nervous. I think after Joe Nichols came by. I just I can't yeah. the, the diamond bling rocking on the finger. I mean, oh, come yeah. on. Yeah, I've been wearing that. That's wow. my Music Mafia Godmother ring. That um, uh, hey, you don't need I to show me that so day. close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good weapon. I have to be careful if that I get mad. That thing is huge. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a landing strip. Yeah. Do all of you have the same ring? We all have one that has the Music Mafia symbol on it. I, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that says Godmother, though. The rest of them all say Godfather. That's beautiful. Yeah. How does that feel to be the Godmother in the Mafia? It feels natural. <laughs> <laughs> it is have what ordered, it is. Have you ordered any hits lately? <laughs> no, but I'm about to because my daughter's 13 and she's got a boyfriend. <gasps> oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So, no. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I mean, oh. that, that, that boy has got nerves of steel, I think. I, mean, I would I say would, so. How would you like to be, you know, wanting to go out with my daughter? No. <laughs> but do you, you approve of him? I do. I like okay. him. He's a good kid, you know. But how, how old is he? Well, he's a couple years older than her. Oh, yeah. yeah I see the concern. I got yeah. a daughter too. Girls just. We all have I, I don't know. With the, my daughter, you know, that's what happens to these kids that grow up out here on the road. You know, they. She's always been an old soul. She's always been a lot quicker with jokes and her sense of humor and all. You know, and when I first put her in school, she was like, Mom. These kids are like, I, I can't even talk to them. They yeah. don't get me. They don't understand me. You know, yeah. I try to throw my best joke at them, and it goes right over their head, you know. And so she's always she's always kind of naturally gravitated towards hanging out with a little bit older of a crowd. And I, I did, too, when I was a kid. But we've got a good, open relationship. She can tell me anything. And so I always know what's going on with her life. And so that's real important. That's one thing we love about you. From day one, everybody knows that you put your daughter up front, and y'all yeah. had a great relationship. It didn't matter what you had going on, where you were going, how yeah. big the tour was. You always had, like, this is how it's going to work, me and her. And it's complicated to try to, um, you know, try to tell your booking agent. He's like, yeah, man, this gig is, is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and it's not going to be here next year. And, you know, and you're on the phone going, well, I can guarantee you that the second-grade Christmas play isn't going to be here next year. So I'm going uh, to have to say that this, you know, this love, takes, uh, you know, priority. I love the fact you have those priorities. Well, and, and sometimes I know that I've, I've had to say no to things in my career that, you know, probably would have been great things, but I have not regretted one single moment uh, of, of anything that I've, you know, my first job on this planet is to be a great mom yeah and you know and i've always wondered you know because I, I love music and everything but i've always had this feeling that god put me here for something bigger than this that this is like my stepping stone and i've i think i think it's her you know i mean yeah. i i think it's uh i think that she's going to be uh, a bigger star than i ever thought about uh -oh. and she is uh -oh. so talented oh. but she's not like you know into this this genre or any of these genres she's like musical theater um you know, when I was her age, I was singing Mac Michael Jackson songs. She's up there <laughs> singing Judy Garland songs. You know, oh, so it's, wow. it's a it's a whole different ball game. But she's she's my whole world, and, oh, and hopefully, you can tell. hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to give her some pointers. You know, that's not my exact field, but hopefully, I'll be able to protect her. Now, would you ever be a publicist or manager, Gretchen? I would probably demand to be her. <laughs> just that's what moms because do. Because I've had managers, and you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I would I would at least make sure that she would end up with a good one. That's crazy because I just remember. Um, I remember in your live show, and the, the name of the song has escaped me right now, but you had the baby pictures of her in the holding background. Holding you, yes. holding me together. Oh, yeah. I love that yeah. song. Yeah, she's she's my favorite thing on in, in the whole world. And, um, you know, I don't, I can't even imagine. I don't know what I did with myself before she came along. Uh, and I know all parents uh, say that yeah, same we, thing, yeah. but um, she's my inspiration. She's what keeps me going. She's the reason I work hard all the time. I want to set a good example for her. I want her to know that, you know, what you're passionate about 
and, and you know, what you're really focused on. If you work hard enough at it, you can achieve anything you want to in this world. And, um, you know, she's my reason for doing everything. I went back to school and got my GED because I wanted to set a good example for her. And I continue to, to pour myself in, into the music that I make because of her, because she gives me that, that passion. And you just made some uh, new music, Christmas music, I see. A yeah. Christmas CD out. Third album that we released this year, and this one's a Christmas. Finally, the first time I've done a full-length Christmas album. And, yeah, got uh, we've got kids Santa, I've been it. naughty is track two. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that one is pretty much what it is, it is what it sounds like. But, um, but, but you've got some classics on here as well. Yeah, we did some traditional, and we did some of those fun sing-alongs for the kids. But these three, these first three on there are uh, or the, the first three on there that are original, and they're brand new music, Christmas songs. And they, they're really, really great. Christmas in my heart, Santa, I've been naughty. And if you see Rudolph, which is a it's kind of a, a tongue-in-cheek song about a little girl catching her auntie on Christmas Eve going out the door to the rifle stand, you know? Uh -huh. And she's like, well, you know, what are you going to do if you see Rudolph go? You know, so it's, it's pretty funny. Blam, blam. Which one is your daughter's favorite on there? Um, or does she, she have one? She likes the Christmas song, the old standard, oh, yeah. the Love piano, and we really, we, we just left it really verby and piano and vocal, and it's, it's really, it's, it's pretty. Christmas in my heart, is it out now? It is out. It came out in October. Yay! All wrapped up in Christmas lights. That's what all of us women look like around about Thanksgiving. Yep. The next day after Thanksgiving, we're yanking those Christmas lights out of there and going, why didn't I wrap this up the right way? Uh -huh. uh, we we have you. one more thing here. Okay, what's this? It's the QDR Wheel, Wheel of questions. questions. Run your finger across that. And it'll pop up a question. You answer the question, then you can, you'll can you be free to go. Oh, boy. And the question is my question. Uh, what question do you actually wish people would ask you during interviews? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, what question do I wish people would ask me during interviews? Um, I guess I would probably like to talk more about songwriting. I wish that people were a little more interested in the art of songwriting and what it, what it is to sit down and, and craft a song. Because we're really private about that. Songwriters are very, very private about you know the act of writing a song you hardly ever see a you know video camera in there looking in on a songwriting session to just to see how how things come up you know how, how things how people come up with things and so I I think that uh, everybody should be a little bit more interested in in the beginning of the whole process because it starts with usually one guitar and one or two people sitting in a room and and that's what you start with and that those first work tapes and demos are pretty rough usually but but uh, no one ever really asks those questions you know what did this song sound like before it was a song that may be the band's answer we've heard all week long. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Good. Hey, let's talk about Santa. I've been naughty. Had what? Where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about, about the writing of that. I, I didn't write that. I, I found that one, and um, I can only imagine that it was written by men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> sure it was. But oh, it's uh, it's just uh, it's a cute and sassy song that actually you would think has a lot of that risqueness to it. But you know what? A, a child can sing this song. It, there's really nothing dirty. There's nothing Marty, risque about up, it. <laughs> I'm, I'm up for it. Except for that the way you sing it. You sing it with a little bit of sexiness. But uh, but really lyrically, it's Marty, it's just I a fun. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, Chris. It's just a fun and uh, and cute. Happy Christmas song. Well, it's out in stores now. Christmas in my heart. Gretchen Wilson is with us. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me. You guys are fun. Awesome. All righty. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Take it easy. Have a good See ya. See ya.